bring up the parameters on the display, hit the power button for about two seconds to turn it on, and then simultaneously press the mode and the power button for about three seconds, and then press the mode button to cycle through the parameters. It goes from P0 to P9, and if you want to enter P4, for example, hit the power button. Now that's number one's flash, you can hit mode or you can hit power to go up and down on the uh, the number. I am starting off with P0 and P2. I'm skipping P1 for now. P0 represents the diameter of the wheels. In this case, stock one is 11 inches. Set that to, uh, set that to 11. P2 represents, I'm not sure exactly, but I'm speculating it's something, it has something to do with the sensors in the motor, but the combination of P0 and P2 uh, controls the speedometer and in effect the odometer on the display. Um, so if you take a look at the, the video here, P0 at number 11 and P2 at number 14 provides the most accurate, the most precise uh, speed reading, no matter if it's the lower end speeds or the higher end speeds. So I, I pretty much, uh, trust me on this, uh, I've done my homework, I've experimented with so many different combinations. I know that the Mikey representative suggested or uh, asked me to set P0 to number 10 but that did not give the most precise reading. I know that some of my followers uh, in the comment section, they they say set P0 to seven, and that doesn't make any sense because that, that number is too low. Because what happens then is when you go to a higher end speed, it, the, the reading is gonna be so off. So trust me on this, uh, P0 to number, number 11, uh, P2 to number 14, no, number 19. P1 is the cutoff voltage and according to this Google chart, you should not drain the cells below 2.8 to 3.0 volts. This, this uh, particular scooter has 16 cells. You multiply that those numbers by 16, you get 45 and 48 respectively. Pers personally for me, I prefer to keep at the higher threshold, um, just um, a personal preference, but you can bring it down to as low as 45, but don't set that number below 45. Uh, so if you go here, Let's do the turn on the power on the display. You hit mode a couple of times, and that's the voltage, the current voltage on the scooter, 58.6. So what that means is as you ride the scooter, that number is going to drop, 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 drop down. And once the, the 58.6 goes down to 48, the scooter is going to cut it off or cut off the power to protect the battery. Three, honestly, I don't know what the heck P3 is, but it doesn't matter because it's uh, immutable. You can't change that value. So if you come here, turn this on, I'm going to show you two buttons, simultaneously two seconds, you go to P3, enter P3, and no matter if you press the mode or the power, you can't really change that one, see? So regardless, P3 is one, no matter what it means. P4 toggles between miles per hour or kilometers per hour. You live in the US like I do, it's miles per hour. Anywhere else in the world, kilometers per hour, the metric system. So if you go over here, oh uh, shoot, that's the wrong direction. So get into the parameter. Oh, let me turn this on and then enter parameter, the P4. So one is miles per hour. If you change this to zero, that would show kilometers per hour right there. So there you see it, miles per hour, kilometers per hour. P5 toggles between the zero and non-zero start. So right now I have it on non-zero start, P5 at number one. So when I pull the trigger, you see the, the display is on, but I pull the trigger all the way, nothing happens. This is to prevent accidental starts. If you're a beginner, you might want to set that to uh, number one. In order to get the scooter uh, motors engaged, you have to roll the scooter forward a little bit. And then so if you don't nudge the scooter forward, the motors won't won't engage. And so right now I have P5 at number zero, so that's zero start. I don't need to nudge it forward to get the motors to engage. I can just start from a standstill. P6 is cruise control. If you own a car, you know what this means. Uh, maintain the scooter speed for about three or four seconds and 
cruise control will take over and keep that speed uh, going without you having to hold on to the trigger accelerator. All right, so right now I have P7 at setting zero. So this is the soft start. Right, so this is P7 at setting number one, hard start. Okay, so honestly, person, I can't feel any difference between P0 or P7 at setting zero or one hard start, soft start. It feels exactly the same to me, so it's really a matter of uh, what you wanna see on the display. Makes no difference. P8 is the power setting of the scooter. You can adjust it all the way from 100% down to 5%. You should watch this video here. Uh, I have this at set at 45% power, and then um, as um, you saw earlier in the video, you can achieve very, very high speeds when you have P8 set all the way to 100. P9 is electronic braking or regenerative, regenerative braking. Zero means absolutely no uh, motor resistance for e-braking. One means minimal and two means maximum amount of e-braking. So here's my final thought on the scooter. In my last video, I slammed and I criticized various elements of the scooter. For, for example, these stupid, dorky looking splash guard, mud guard, fenders, whatever you want to call them. But you know what? If you don't like those, remove them. Just like I have. I ride without them. If you look here, no splash guard in the back, in the front, no fenders. I also didn't like how heavy the scooter is. It's 105 pounds, but no matter what kind of scooter you purchase in this power class, whether it be the Duotron Thunder or the Wolf Warrior 11, they're gonna be freaking heavy. So it's across the board, it's not just a scooter. Uh, I was also unfortunate to get two flat tires, but that's just my bad luck. It could happen with any scooter. Uh, overall, I'm still very, very pleased with this um, um, daily commute. I actually still ride this uh, on a daily basis. It is my main commute vehicle. Um, so I would, I would still rate this 8.5 out of 10, a solid 8.5 because the components the, that really, really matter. The, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So you got the, the motor here, the battery inside, the battery compartment, the controller, the, just the overall frame, chassis, robustness. Those are still holding up and they are still performing excellently.